So out of all of the releases that have come from the Ubuntu 15.10 release cycle, this one is for the users. It might be fair to say that for a desktop environment, Mate or Mate has the most love and support out there in the Linux community. Why is that? Well, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it, just make it better. Put this desktop environment on top of a pretty solid Ubuntu base and you're onto a winning combination. Let's check it out in my video review of Ubuntu Mate 15.10. So this review is going to be really brief and upfront. This is mostly about Mate 1.10. Uh, Mate has quite a few useful little tweaks and enhances that are really built upon its GNOME 2 heritage. And, uh, and really, in terms of a desktop operating system, it's very familiar to anyone who has used a user interface in the last 10 years, but it builds some very useful little bits and pieces on top to keep us happy. Uh, so, first up, I want to mention the things that are specific to the Ubuntu Mate release. So, these are things that it does differently from a lot of other releases out there, and I think they have very welcome improvements. They spend their time and their resources on the stuff that matters. First up, I want to talk about this welcome screen. The welcome screen that comes in Ubuntu Mate is really, really helpful. Now, we've all seen welcome screens done before, and I think this one actually harkens back to a lot of what Manjaro does. Um, but i got to be honest, this is really, really helpful stuff. First of all, you have things like documentation, introductions. Yeah, they're pretty, I guess, um, par for course with a lot of distributions nowadays but it explains kind of where Ubuntu Mate is coming from and what it wants to achieve. It also highlights a lot of the features that, um, that the distribution considers important about itself, um, which I think is also a great touch. And not only that, it also gives you some great support links and chat room links so that you can get your questions answered if you, have, if you are having any issues with this distribution. They also have some fantastic getting started stuff here, which is for the new user really highlights what we should be doing when we install a new distribution. Things like installing your drivers, software updates, language support, complex uh, user input, and, uh, and setting up things like backups and firewalls and other users. The other nice little touch here that I made use of was the user interface. And this brings me to my Mate Tweak, and we're gonna come back to uh, the um, Mate Welcome here thing in a second. But under Mate Tweak, you have a lot of different options here to enable icons onto your desktop, to choose what compositor you wanna use, and this is all one-click solutions. So you can switch between Compiz and Marco, the default, um, the default compositing manager. You can choose where you wanna put your window buttons, whether you want them on the left or on the right. You can choose what kind of interface you wanna use, whether it's based on uh, certain certain operating systems that come from Redmond or Cupertino, maybe you want Fedora, Gnome 2, or maybe you want OpenSUSE. You have a bunch of different options here that are simple one-click solutions to giving you a user interface that you're familiar with. And I think this is the kind of thing that I would have longed to see in the initial releases of Ubuntu that I first started using way back in the 8.04 uh, release cycle. So this is really helpful stuff. Again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, just make it better. And these are some of the simple tweaks that Mate does to, I think, really help its users just use what they wanna use and make it simple to get what they wanna get done, done. Uh, also have quick links to the control center, which is very helpful as well. And this, I absolutely love this. I applaud the people for including this in the welcome uh, dialogue here because keyboard shortcuts are the number one ticket to productivity on a computer. So giving a simple list that they can apply is very, very helpful. All right, let's move on with this welcome screen. So we have, like I said, great links to community and chat room. And then I want to talk about software. This is a great implementation of what a lot of Linux distributions should be doing in this, in the way that they manage software. Ubuntu Mate simply gives the user a very carefully curated selection of apps and uh, games and other tools that they can install that are based on what they recommend works well with their distribution. And I think this is a really great start to what Linux distribution should be doing on the whole. Because one of the most intimidating things to a new user is finding programs and applications that can do the stuff that they want them to do. And sifting through the layers and layers of, well, let's just face it, not up to scratch software that is available in most repositories. This is fantastic because it not only gives some great information about the apps themselves, but it gives alternative apps to help the user kind of identify what this app does compared to other software they might be familiar with. So for example, Bleachbit, the system cleaner, it gives, it lists it as an alternative 
alternative to the Piriform C cleaner from that most Windows users would be familiar with. And again, when you look at things like Office, you can see they've got um, great pieces of op open source software that really flagship what open source software is capable of, giving making it nice and easy for users to find these and install these uh, on their own systems. And they're simple one-click solutions to finding what they want and, uh, and installing it. Then simply clicking on the more apps will give you a few suggestions as to ways that you can install more software. And the top recommendation they give is AppGrid, which I just want to quickly highlight because I think personally it's pretty incredible. Uh, AppGrid is, I think, a very nice, uh, I think it's a very nice way to have a look at software that's available and install it based on the reviews that you read. So for example, if we have a look at Mix, uh, the DJing software, you can say that there are some fantastic reviews here as well as some uh, not so fantastic reviews that give you a pretty accurate idea of what you're looking at. Uh, makes it very easy to install and this program is very very lightweight and very quick to navigate around. Now while the organization leaves a little bit to be desired it's a great step in the right direction and you can install this I think on a lot of Ubuntu based distributions but it's just a great start I think to alternatives to the Ubuntu software center that you've probably heard me bemoan a few times. So I have a lot of love for the welcome to Ubuntu Mate uh, welcome screen here and, uh, and I think they've done a great job of implementing a simple tool to help users get what they want to get done, done. So apart from those little tools and tweaks that you get, there's not really a whole lot that is new or um, amazing in terms of features here that's available in Ubuntu Mate 15.10. You get the same Ubuntu base that you get on all the other 15.10 release cycles. So you're based on the Linux kernel 4.2. You've got a lot of the same applications in terms of LibreOffice, Firefox, in terms of where those version numbers are at. If you're not sure, you can go and watch my other Ubuntu family reviews for the cycle. You'll get a bit more information there. But if you want to have the culminated knowledge of UI design and experience of the last 10 years of Linux, then the Mate desktop environment is for you. And look, for me personally, while I have experienced a few crashes on this particular release of, uh, of Ubuntu Mate, it's something I'm willing to put up with, especially once you install software updates, the situation improved considerably. Um, and also the other weird little thing that I encountered, which is really just a personal bugbear, is that uh, there's no real um, inverted scrolling or natural scrolling. Uh, from what you can set in the in the mouse preferences here or in the touchpad preferences of Ubuntu Mate. But that's, that's my own little bugbear. Uh, it's just something that I've gotten used to on a lot of other distributions. So ultimately, if you want a user interface that is familiar, that works, that gets out of the way, doesn't give you any hassles, um, then Ubuntu Mate is the way to go because it's incredibly simple to set up, to use and configure to the way that you work. And I think for that, Ubuntu Mate deserves some major props.